Absolutely. Um, so yeah, so let's touch upon um, the Beijing 22 Winter Olympics. Uh, that one was a really cool project because I had left China already for about three years and I had just moved to the UK. And um, it was the height of the pandemic. And this is one thing that I love about sports is that you, you create these networks all over the world. Um, and, 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 and you don't have to travel all over the world and move all over the world to create these networks. That's, that's one thing that I want to make it very clear. Like the, that, that's the beauty of the sports world. Because, you know, Ali, we haven't met in person. And yeah. we connected through the pandemic and we hit it off and, you know, it's, and, and that's, that is the perfect example of sports. Yeah. So how I got this project was, it was someone thought of me and I had talked to them about it. And, um, and a, a quick snapshot of what I did was um, I, I assisted in the production of, of these bilingual communication um, training materials for the support staff at the Alpine Ski Resort in Beijing. And it was really fun because of course it's an Olympic property and also it was China. It's like a, a place that I, I lived for eight years and I, I could combine both things again, but from a remote location in, in, in England. Um, and it was fun and it was just great to get the pictures and videos of the staff actually using the training at, when they were meeting in order to get training uh, trained for 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 um, their posts at the Alpine, Alpine Village, and yeah. I'm like, oh my god, this is really cool. That's the power of sports. I created, I helped create something in another country that was used in China for the you know for the Olympics, right. and that was fantastic. And that's fantastic. Yeah. And it's not something unattainable. This is just something that when you have the, the experience and you start meeting people, you'll get those experiences. I, I, I really want to make that clear because when I was just getting into the sports industry, industry, it felt like those opportunities were really far away, unreachable, that you had to be in years in it. No, it's just you got to be kind, go get her and be open again to things like this because I hadn't done work like this before until I worked um, for the Special Olympics um, World Games in yeah. Abu Dhabi. And I took a chance. And this was a, 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 a previous project um, that was a, a, training, a training materials for the Special right. Olympics in Abu Dhabi. And then I got to go see my work in person in Abu Dhabi and ask people, hey, did you like it? How would you think of the training? And I got to participate as, vol as a volunteer in the, in, in the Special Olympic World Games right. uh, in, in football aside, right? And that was just beautiful because I saw a different part of sports through right. volunteering as well, but I had done uh, a job for that. Um, but, you know, when it comes to having international experience, yeah. um, don't let not knowing um, <laughs> anything about a country stop you from going there. Um, I, 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 I honestly moved with, uh, with one bag, um, to Beijing in, 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 the, in the coldest part of the year in February, 2011. And I did not know anything about China, just about like the, the, the obvious things, right. um, that a Westerner would know. And I just went on this thing of like, you know what, I just want to feel adventure, start something new. And the rest is history because.